All right, so I want to, there's a lot of, especially with the story maps, talks about how do you find images that kids are legally allowed to use. Now, does anybody know if Flickr is blocked in your school? Because this will be a pointless conversation if it is. If Flickr is blocked. Um, well, you can technically search Google Images for openly licensed stuff. You just click on Images. And then if you go over to Tools, you could select Usage Rights and you can do labeled for reuse. However, I find that sometimes Google is as great at doing um, their licensing as well. So I find all of my images on Flickr. Or I go to Pixabay, which has everything in the public domain. But there's an awesome tool that I'm gonna teach you about called the Flickr CC Attribution Helper. How many people have heard of Creative Commons licenses? All right. How many people have heard of copyright and all rights reserved? So all rights reserved is kind of saying, I own everything, you can't get to use this, you don't, you know, this is mine. What Creative Commons does is it still gives you, as a content creator, the right to your work, but you give permissions to other people to use your work. And there's different levels of permissions with Creative Commons licenses. From, you could say, for example, you can use my work, but not if you're going to sell it. Or you can use my work, but you can't change it. You can use my work, you just have to cite me, and you have to share it with the same kind of anything that you make with my work. You have to share with the same kind of license. So I use a tool, and it's super easy. If you guys Google CC Flickr Attribution Helper CogDog, it will come right up. CogDog is just a screen name to a friend of mine, um, Alan Levine. So if everybody Googles that, and that will bring you right to the CC Attribution Helper. And you get a couple different options here. What you're basically doing is you're building a bookmarklet that will help teach your students how to quickly cite images. So you, what you do, and this all works on Chrome, so you can be doing this with me, and you can do it with all your students' Chromebooks on their accounts. You decide what size of the image width you want. I actually, if you look above here, um, I keep a bunch of these on my browser. I have one for WordPress, one for uh, um, 1,024 pixels, uh, one for 500 pixels. So you can set them up the way you want. So I'll do a 640. And you have different, you can do the default attributions. You could, you have different kinds of attributors for medium, for markdown. So I'll just stick to the default attributor, basic HTML. And all I do then is see this, book this thing here. If I drag that up and drop it up into my Chrome browser, it's now installed. Now if I go to Flickr, somebody who's, what it, uh, What's your story map on? You're doing what, Native, uh, mm -hmm. Connecticut, Native Americans? Yeah. Uh -huh. So say, for example, if I just search for Connecticut, spelled Connecticut, right? <laughs> All right? And I get a lot of ducks um, and birds. So these must be native birds and animals. Uh, so there's an image with them. Um, so I could, but here, see this any license button here? I get a couple choices. I click on it, I can say any license, all Creative Commons, commercial use allowed, modifications allowed, commercial use and mods allowed, US government works. So, but I want, you know, I'm just gonna do all Creative Commons because we don't have to worry about not, this is non-commercial. Technically, a lot of what you're doing would fall under fair use, but instead of dealing with that complicated issue, why not just teach kids to use images that author and artists have openly licensed. Um, so I'm going to select all Creative Commons. And now I have, you know, a bunch of different images. I'm just going to choose one. So the power at Falls Village, just to show you guys. Now what do I do 
is once I hit, see this Flickr CC attribution, if I hit that now, here it is. I get the HTML code that you could throw right into your Google Classroom, or I get the text attribution, which you would want your students to put under the picture. You can download the image, and then you get the exact attribution that they should be using for that image. And you can have it with HTML, which works in story maps. So if you just copy that and you're the, under the media thing, or you know how you saw in story maps, it said put your citation here. You could also just copy the text into that box. And now you have, and then you have a link to the image that you can download. You could also just remember, copy this link. You know how you can add images by URL in your story map? This is the best thing. You open up your story map, you just copy in that URL for the image, and then you copy in that text for the attribution. And now you have, you've taught your kids about Creative Commons images, you've taught them how to search Flickr for openly licensed images, and you're teaching them how to cite images correctly in your story map or in your GIS project. So it's a really simple solution that begins with looking at first installing uh, Alan's CC attribution tool, then searching Flickr, and then being able to do whatever you want from there. And so that's how it works. All right, that's the last of our little mini lessons, I think, today. And I'll put this on YouTube as well.